In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to shift reality and it's easier than what it seems to quantum jump or shift in your ideal reality. So if you wanna know the easiest way to do it and honestly, everybody can do it, this video is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Nia and on this channel, we talk everything about manifestation, esotericism and so much more. Hit the ring bell button so you also get notified when I'm live because I love to answer your questions and be live talking about the subject. On Patreon, I do post weekly extra videos all about the esoteric, esotericism and all of this. So participate to the community. I would love to see you there. For my private coachings and services, everything is down below. Now let's get to the video. So shifting reality. This is a concept that we hear a lot, especially quantum jumping. I've made other videos about it. You can refer them uh, on my, you know, on my channel. And there are older videos. Sorry, the airplane is going. Um, but essentially what it is like I want to address this video to all my clients and to all the people that sometimes so they write me and they're like I know I shouldn't mingle in the old story but this has happened or SP is with the third party I am crying right now or I am mingling the old story I just want to tell you this it's okay like I always tell all my clients it's okay you're human you have emotions it's fine it is what it is However, what are we going to do in order to shift the reality? And this is why what I also do, because remember, everything that I say comes from my personal experience. It's not to be robots. It's not to completely neglect the third, the 3D and say, I have no emotions whatsoever. I mean, if you can do it, great, but not everybody can do it. It is okay to cry. It is okay to feel whatever human emotions you're going through because of the circumstance. However, in order to shift reality, the only thing that you need is conscious awareness. And what is conscious awareness? It's the key, really. If there is any key to manifestation, it's this. It's conscious awareness. The very fact that you are capable of observing your thoughts and saying, I am mingling in the old story, I can see that, however, this is how it makes me feel, that's conscious awareness. In that moment, you're taking a step back from the main character, which is you, your ego, and you're saying, this is what I see, this is what I am doing, this is how it makes me feel. Now, if you can just stay in the present moment and rather than identifying so deeply with those emotions, which simply means you take a step back. So if you would be in a theater, you would see the play of life from an observer perspective, right? So that is what you're doing with conscious awareness. You're taking a slight step back and you're seeing yourself as the character, the main character of your play, of your life. And so, what I advise you to do, guys, to shift reality is even when you're crying, even when you're feeling those negative emotions, just take a deep breath and stay within the present moment and affirm for the new story. Because, or even to calm yourself down and bring yourself back to a wanted state, you are going to apply conscious awareness. You're going to say, I am not the body though, and I'm not even the mind. I am feeling these emotions right now, but they're temporary. I do not have to identify so heavenly with this character okay maybe this is happening right now in my 3d but it's temporary i'm not the body not even the mind i'm in control of my reality i accept what is but it's not gonna stay here because i have control over my reality and once you are talking yourself through this conscious awareness through the process through this process you go back to your wanted affirmation i'm already what i'm claiming to be doesn't matter what i'm seeing i'm already what i'm claiming to be you wake yourself up from the dream this is how you shift the reality it's not by being a robot it's not by not feeling the emotions of the present moment but it's not it's basically not mingle or spiraling so much that you identify yourself so heavenly with the story that you don't want that it happens to stay or become your reality you decide to take a step back because you are applying conscious awareness and you're saying no i'm not the body not even the mind i'm in control i can decide right now that i want to feel miserable for longer or I can decide this is not my story I am NOT going to accept this and therefore I'm going to affirm for the wanted circumstance very easy thing to do and it reminds me of and always I bring this example of Neville Goddard when Neville was still a student we could say of the law 
and he was learning from Abdullah. Um, if you don't know the story, I'm going to briefly summarize it for you. I know many of you already know it. Comment down below if you know the story of Barbados. But essentially, Neville wanted to go to Barbados and Abdullah made him visualize that he was already in Barbados. Now, obviously, because Neville was just a beginner in the process of learning conscious manifestation, he had his own doubts when he couldn't see that he was actually in Barbados and weeks were passing and the boat was going away and he wasn't taking it and he wasn't going back to Barbados. So he went to Abdullah and said, listen, bro, kind of, I'm paraphrasing, I, it's not here yet. And Abdullah slammed his door on uh, uh, Neville's face and said, Neville, you are already in Barbados. That's it. That's it. So what Abdullah did in that moment, he brought Neville back to conscious awareness of the fact that he was the cause of his reality in order for Neville to shift not only in mindset that he, to the fact that he was already in Barbados, but to physically even shift to that reality where he was indeed in Barbados. And long story short, he did went in Barbados and the miracle, the manifestation came through. And then Neville became the teacher that he was. And here's the thing, you guys. We always think about these teachers like Neville Goddard as already enlightened, as already they, they knew everything. That wasn't the case. Even Neville had to go through his share of challenges and doubts when he was a beginner in manifestation. He was an astrologer way before that, so he had to confront and learn what destiny really is all about, how the star influencing us, and then he transcended that, then he transcended the beginner stage, and then he became the teacher that he was, exploring even the dream states and consciousness and so much more if you go deeper into his story and the reason that is is because once you realize how conscious manifestation works then it becomes easier and easier and easier and then eventually not only you will be victorious in your manifestation but you will help others awaken too and that is the entire point so also Neville has had the same struggles that you guys had so I hear a lot this message of I feel guilty because I mingled in the old story I feel like I am a failure no, you guys, you're not. You're just learning conscious awareness and conscious manifestation. Do you know what failing is if we really have to label anything as failure? It's to give up. It's to give up on yourself. It's to give up your new dreams. It's not persisting. But in the moment that you're consciously aware, oh, I have mingled in the old story, so let me refocus my energy. You cannot fail. You're not going to be a failure. Infinite consciousness loves you. What you want is already there for you. You're just resetting your compass in order to go to the right state to the right direction that is all that it's happening so how do we really shift reality by always bringing ourselves back to conscious awareness which translate in simple term in i am aware of what i'm thinking i know that my thoughts influence my emotion the chemistry in my body and or vice versa i know how i'm feeling and therefore i know that my feelings are influencing my thoughts and and through the chemistry of my body, I am creating identifications. I am creating a personality. And I know that my personality creates my personal reality. So in the moment that I am conscious of the movement of my mind, I can change my personality and my identifications. And therefore, I will shift to a different reality that it actually is available for me and already exists. I will move myself, spiritually speaking, consciously speaking, in the right state of mind. So quantum jumping and shifting is as easy as that, is to bring yourself back to awareness. There are a couple of ways to do this. I gave the example of negative circumstances. Um, you can obviously have a friend that reminds you of, or a coach that reminds you of your desired state and brings you back to that. Or if you want to do this by yourself, you totally can, not only by affirming, which I always say you never have to leave affirmations because affirmations are nothing but changing your thoughts, but you have to wake yourself up during the day. It's as simple as that. So let's say that you're washing the dishes, you're walking, you're thinking about your job, and then all of a sudden, you feel in a certain way. I always say to this, you guys, that you don't have to conjure any feelings. You have to observe the natural feelings that you're feeling. So let's say that all of a sudden you feel sad. I, um, I invite you guys to think, okay, I feel sad right now. Let's take a step back from the character, which is my ego, is myself as it is right now. And let me think, why I feel sad? 
what was I thinking before feeling sad? And you were probably thinking about the unwanted circumstance or you were mingling in the 3D. With no guilt or shame, you're gonna say, oh, I see what I'm doing. Because obviously it took you, it took you a while to create those negative beliefs. It's gonna take you a while to shift to a different pattern and to change the habits of being yourself. It's totally fine. So you're just gonna say, oh, I see what my mind is doing. Uh, 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 we ain't gonna do this. Mind, shift where I want to, boom back to the affirmation. Now, you guys, if you can just do this very simple thing of awakening yourself up during the day, bringing yourself back to the observer, to the that I am presence, to that conscious awareness, then shifting realities is going to be as easy as drinking a cup of water. Why I'm saying this, you notice that you're thirsty, you go out your fridge, you take your water or to the tap water and you drink. That's it. You are aware that you're thirsty. Your body is sending you a signal. Your mind is saying, okay, let me grab some water. You go out and, and take it. Changing reality. Once you have drank the water, you're not thirsty anymore. You're in a different reality. That is the same thing. You see the unwanted circumstances. You observe. If you need to cry, you cry. You take a step back. And even while you're crying, you affirm for the new state because you are aware that you are the cause of reality. You are becoming conscious in that moment. You're not anymore involved in the character so deeply. You are becoming the observer. In the moment that you're not spiraling with your emotions, so you're not being reactive in that sense that you are bringing conscious awareness to your mind and to your reality then you're in control you are in control and you are going to push out or shifting yourself to the reality that you want that is the only thing you guys you need to practice plus persistence don't give up you're not a failure remember that failing in manifestation as in anything for life is to give up is to give up on yourself is to give up on your dreams and is to give up on believing that that reality actually exists listen you guys if i can imagine all of you commenting right now in the comment section your success stories and telling me how happy you are because your life has transformed and you manifested all of your dreams i can see that right now through my mind if i can see that that, then it's done. It has already happened. We just have to bring conscious awareness to the fact that it has already happened, identify with the right version of us that is experiencing what we want, and the rest is going to be taken care of by your subconscious mind. It's really that easy. Like I said, it's like drinking a cup of water. And trust me, I know it doesn't sound or it doesn't seem easy right now for some of you who are beginners, but it's going to get easier. It's going to get better and better and better. And then you're going to be like, like looking back at this video and think she was right it was really that easy and I'm grateful that I didn't give up on myself and I'm grateful that I didn't give up on my dreams last thing that I want to say you don't have to conjure any feelings I mean heart and mind coordination is gonna come naturally because the more you're gonna bring yourself to conscious awareness the more you're going to bring yourself to the observer effect where you're deciding what to think and you're affirming for the wanted state, let's say you're saying, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Of course, you're not going to feel it immediately, but the more you say it, the more the body is just going to follow the mind and the feeling of gratitude, it's going to come natural. You're just going to feel grateful at some point by virtue of changing your thoughts, which eventually changes the chemistry within your body. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Shifting realities is nothing but becoming a conscious, aware being. I love you guys. Practice this. It's going to change your life. Comment down below. Share your stories. Subscribe to always be notified and ring the ring bell button to always get notified about my lives and videos. I see you also on Patreon and very soon on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.